thanks for watching my video today we are going to evaluate this limit okay here <coughs> so how to evaluate this firstly since we have the power uh, this whole to the power 1 over n so this one I want to take out so in order to take out this we are going to take log okay this one so let's say our p is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n square 1 plus 2 square by n square 1 plus 3 square by n square and so on <coughs> and to 1 plus n square by n square to the power 1 over n this n are not equal okay because here the, the denominator n square is they remain the same but the numerator is changing okay up to 1 2 3 up to infinite so let's take uh, log okay so log p is equal to what limit and tends to infinity this come again okay, here and this whole this is what product right product tends to <coughs> sum okay 1 over 1 by n square plus log of 1 plus 2 square by n square and so on plus log of 1 plus n square by n square okay since uh, log if you take logarithm of product you'll get sum okay so this is all so log p equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 over n <coughs> so I want to write in terms of summation from r equal to 1 to what n right 1 to n log of 1 plus r square by n square ok this is exactly this one if you put this one if you put r equal to 1 then you get 2 then you get and up to n go to this one okay exactly this so now we are going to calculate this in terms of definite integral okay now replace limit n tends to infinity summation by this one okay L integral and log 1 plus r by n by x okay square 1 by n is dx now what about this limit how to take this limit here we take r by n right r by n when when r is equal to 1 here r is equal to 1 then r by n will tends to what 0 right yes and or when r tends to n r by n will tends to what 1 <coughs> because here here n is what limit n tends to infinity so 1 over infinity is 0 and when r tends to n n over n is just 1 so our limit is going to be from 0 to 1 now this is easy to calculate now so integration by part x square into integration of dx minus integration of 1 over n log differentiation of log is 1 over 1 plus x square into integration of dx into dx our left hand side is log p okay log p so this is log 1 plus x square into integration of dx is x limit from 0 to 1 minus 0 to 1 here you get x over 
1 plus x square dx. Okay, sorry. Differentiation of log x is 1 over 1 plus x square n. You need to differentiate the function inside this, okay? So it will be 2x. That mean 2 will be coming out here and this xn here x it will be x square. So log p. If you plug here 1, okay, you will get log 2 minus 2 times integral from 0 to 1. This one I can rewrite in as like this, okay? Because adding 1 and subtract 1 is still the same thing as this one. So log p is log 2 minus 2 times. Now we are going to take like this x squared plus 1 x squared plus 1 dx minus minus plus 2 times integral from 0 to 1 1 over 1 plus x square dx okay this taking this term as 1 and after that this term is 1 like this so this is just 1 so log p is log 2 minus 2 this is 1 integration of dx is x so if you put the limit then you get only 2 plus this one twice this is what tan inverse of x right 0 to 1 so tan inverse of 0 to 1 is tan inverse of 1 is what pi by 4 which is pi by 2 right so our log p I'm just taking out the shortcut okay log 2 minus 2 plus pi by 2 okay so this one transfer here log p minus log 2 is equal to pi by 2 minus 2 so log p divided by 2 is equal to pi by 2 minus 2 so p by 2 is nothing but e to the pi by 2 minus 2 okay this one so our p is going to be 2 times e to the pi by 2 minus 2 so 1 is our p our p is nothing but our limit okay so I, we can write in as our limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n square 1 plus 2 square by n square 1 plus 3 square by n square and so on up to 1 plus n square by n square to the power 1 over n is nothing but this one 2 times e to the 2 times e to the this one just rearrange it so this means pi minus 4 over 2 so pi minus 4 over 2 so this is our limit okay